Hello, I already made an Iceberry deck profile, but that was a long time ago and I changed a lot of cards, so it's time for another deck profile. It's now Ice Barrier combined with Sharks. So let's go through the cards one by one. For level 1 Ice Barrier Tuna, Hexes, Period of the Ice Barrier. Level 2 Ice Barrier Tuna, Cryomancer of the Ice Barrier. Then the Hand Traps. You can of course play 3 Max C, I just have only 2 copies, so you can play 3 of course. 3 Ash Blossom For level 3 Ice Barrier Tuna I picked Geomancer of the Ice Barrier 1 copy of Prior of the Ice Barrier 1 copy of Right Hand Shark Two copies of Bassor Shark and three copies of Lifeless Leaf Fish. You could also play three Bassor Shark and two Leaf Fish instead. I decided to try it out with three Leaf Fish because it might be better on turn one. Then three copies of Revealer of the Ice Barrier. This is probably the most important Ice Barrier card. Three copies of Speaker for the Ice Barrier. One copy of General Wayne of the Ice Barrier. Three copies of Abyss Shark. And one copy of Crystal Shark. Then the Spells one. Feather Duster, 3 Upstart for more consistency. Of course, 3 Medallion of the Ice Barrier. Search, search spell for all the Ice Barrier monsters. 1 copy of Freezing Chains of the Ice Barrier. 1 Twin Twister. And then I only have 1 Impermanence, so I play 1 Impermanence and 2 Forbidden Chalice. But if you have 3 impermanence, it would probably be better to just play 3 impermanence instead. I only have 1, so I play 2 for Pin Chalice instead. And 2 Solemn Judgment. For the extra deck, 1 Devoran, Tiger King of the Ice Barrier. 1 White Aura Dolphin. 1 Black Rose Dragon. 1 Gradle Dragon. One Adamancipator Reason. What's the full name? Dragite. And of course the two Trishulas, level 9 Trishula, level 11 Trishula. And one White Aura Behemoth for the Synchros and then the Exceeds. One number 101. 101 Silent Honor Arc. One number 103. You need this, this material for another exceed. One number 41. One number for Stealth Crank and two Stealth Crank spawns for its effect. And one Nash Knight. Level 5 exceed. So. How this deck works, if you go first, if you have first turn, if you get this card in your hand during your first turn and your opponent doesn't have any hand traps of course, then you can make a, a rank 5 exceed, Abyss Shark searches Crystal Shark and then you can rank 5 exceed for Nash Knight, which has a powerful quick effect. And if you don't have this, you make a rank 4 exceed. Either number 41 is usually the best on the first turn, or if you have a monster effect negation anyways. This is great too. Stealth Kragen. And if you go second, or if you're or during any time, at any time during the game when your opponent has cards you want to get rid of, 
you go the synchro route and use one of the synchro monsters, preferably one of the two Trishulas, usually the level 11 Trishula. And they are easy to summon with the effect of Revela of the Ice Barrier. Because Revela has the effect. Discard one card and special summon one Ice Barrier tune a monster from your deck. So you use this effect and special summon a tuner from your deck. Then you just need to summon another monster from your hand or from the grave before you summon this. And you already have all materials you need for a level 11 th synchro. Let me know what you think in the comments. I might also upload some gameplay or there already is some gameplay in one of the weekly gameplay videos I uploaded. And I hope I see you in my next video. Bye.